Hey guys, welcome to Soccer Gaming, where all soccer's can game. If you're not already a part of the community, then hit that red subscribe button to become part of Soccer Nation. In this episode, I'm going to go over basically how you can get Babe Ruth the quickest way possible and how long it will possibly take you to actually get this Babe Ruth card. So if you want to know how to get this Babe Ruth card quick, stick around. Let's go ahead and get the Babe Ruth card. All right, let's jump in here. We're going to try to knock out as many of these as we possibly can today. So basically, I will kind of I will tell you kind of how long it takes to play each one and how long it'll take to kind of beat these. But all of these at the beginning are one game. Basically, you're going to try to win a three-inning game with your Diamond Dynasty team against the Orioles, Red Sox, Yankees, Rays, Blue Jays, White Sox, Indians, Tigers, Royals, Twins, all of the teams in the MLB. They are all three inning games. You're supposed to beat them in that one game. Now, once you get done with the teams, then you're going to play the AL East, which is basically kind of their all-star team, their all-timers team uh, with current and former players. And you're playing one game, but you're going to six inning games. So instead of the three, you're playing six inning games and you will get four for that as well. You'll do that for the AL East, the AL Central, AL West, NL East, NL Central, and NL West. Then you're going to be playing the basically all-timers, all-American league team, and that's going to be a sixth inning game as well, except you will get five points for that one and five for the NL. And then to finish up your 100 points, you are doing the all-timers team with current and former players in MLB history with your Diamond Dynasty squad. Defeat the all-timers team in nine innings. So you're basically playing... Nine innings in this one, six innings in these these ones, and then three innings when you're playing the individual teams. All of that will equal up to this Babe Ruth card, who's a 99, just came out today. Right field, 125 contact right, 121 contact left. Power right, 120, and power left, 112. Also, discipline and clutch at 125 maxed out. The fielding isn't too bad. I believe it's a, it's a gold defense. So not too bad there, but definitely probably the best card. You can either put him in anywhere on the outfield or in at first base. One of the best cards out right now. So trying to get that done. Along the way, you're going to pick up a few other cards as well. You're going to get the Ducks on the Pond. You're going to get a Tom Seaver Cy Young Award card there as well. He is 96 for seam, a 93 sinker, which obviously you know the sinker is killer. So this could be a good card, 105K there. You're going to get two of the headliner packs as well. You're going to get 20 show packs. You're going to get Trevor Hoffman, who if you're needing a closer, this might be an easy closer you could get. He's not too great, but he's not too bad. The 120 K per nine, the 110 hits per nine, and then the pitching control at 112 is pretty good. He throws that cutter, a circle change, four seam at 94, slider and curveball, and he is a 96. Then you got some more balling and a habit packs. You got headliners as well, and then you're getting Evan Longoria at third base, who kind of comes in pretty average. The fielding is really, really good, though. He has diamond in both hitting and defense so if you're looking for some defensive replacements this might be the guy for you then you're just going to get packs along the way a couple of name plates and that will be all of it i will kind of pay attention to how long it actually takes me to complete these games how long it takes to if, if you just go through here and win every single one how long it will actually take now when playing these guys you are playing with a difficulty of all-star all the way through and then going to the AL ones, you're going to be playing on a Hall of Fame. So it will get more difficult once you get done completing all these teams. Then you will go up to Hall of Fame, the NL East on Hall of Fame, American League itself on Hall of Fame, and then the All-Timers is on Hall of Fame as well. So once you're playing the better teams down here, they will be on Hall of Fame. But while you're playing the individual teams, they will all be on the all-star difficulty so know that going into the games that way you don't waste three or three innings or six innings or whatever playing with a team that might not be your best um, that way you know their difficulties do change as you go get it gary all right so that was done 
and it took us about 10 minutes but i feel like it's going to take a little bit longer so we'll say 15 minutes for each one so it'll take you about seven and a half hours to do all of the games against the um normal ones and then let's say it takes 20 minutes there 20 minutes there and this is if you just don't lose so uh seven and a half let's just do seven um or just do eight so eight nine ten eleven It'll take you about 12 hours should take you about 12 hours to go through all of these and complete these games so in about 12 hours you can have the new Bay Ruth card Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button for more MLB content. All of this content was recorded from my live stream. I live stream on Twitch and YouTube every Tuesday, Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern and most weekends randomly. The links are in the description if you'd like to go and join in on the live streams. Till next time, Slacker out.